from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Well, after an extremely hot summer, it was kind of nice to get back to more of a typical summer like pattern out there today. Near normal temperatures and a decent scattering of showers and storms. Uh, those will come to an end a little bit later on this evening, at least those that remain. Now, tomorrow's still the possibility of a few scattered showers and storms, but then thereafter for the rest of the week, rain chances will be a little bit lower, and that heat's going to start to sneak back up on us. In fact, upper 90s to lower 100s will be making a return, uh, especially, we'll say, Thursday. Thursday into Friday. So more on that in just a second. First off, let's get a check of a pretty messy satellite radar composite across the Bayou State today. You can kind of see a little swirl just off to our west. Uh, that's an upper level low and essentially that's been drawing in Gulf moisture, helping to create atmospheric lift and just this general weakness within the atmosphere. So it wasn't going to take much to help get a scattering of some showers and storms. And uh, indeed, that is what we saw this afternoon. But I told you yesterday it was going to be one of those deals where some of you picked up a good soaking of one to two inches of rainfall. Other areas, uh, not so much. And again, that did come to fruition uh, earlier this afternoon. Now, most of the activity has exited uh, the heart of Acadiana. So some hefty downpours here, though, as we get into portions of Beauregard, now extreme western Allen parishes, and these are on a westward track. So be on the lookout for that, producing some heavy rainfall, quite a bit of lightning. But at least here in the Hub City, and again, a good part of uh, the heart of Acadiana, uh, settling things down as most of the action is starting to push eastward across the basin and then over into southeastern Louisiana, but still some moderate to heavy showers here in uh, Upper St. Martin Parish near the Henderson Butte La Rose area. So probably a rough go of it if uh, folks are trying to travel eastbound on I-10 across the basin towards Baton Rouge. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. Further to the south, uh, New Iberia, Lauraville area picking up uh, some moderate to heavy showers here as well. Uh, along uh, there's uh, LA 182. These are just kind of drifting, uh, producing some heavy rainfall, maybe some lightning at times. And then further to the south and east, as we get into uh, St. Mary Parish from Franklin over towards Morgan City. Again, some moderate to heavy showers ongoing there along Highway 90. Uh, and these eventually will rain themselves out over the next several minutes. So any lingering showers over the next couple of hours will pretty much come to an end prior to sunset. And then we're quiet overnight tonight. Temperatures heading for the mid upper 70s. So that's where we'll start the day tomorrow. We're going to be in the low to mid 90s by the afternoon. A mixture of sunshine and clouds. I think we'll see at least a few pop up uh, showers and storms for the second half today. Overall coverage should be a little bit lower than what we saw today. So we'll go 40% on the rain chances. Uh, but still with any uh, storm that gets going during the afternoon, uh, they could produce uh, some locally heavy downpours. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Wednesday starts out mid to upper 70s, partly cloudy Wednesday afternoon. Notice even less green showing up on the map. So rain chances down to 20%, a little bit hotter as well, mid to upper 90s. And then as mentioned Thursday and Friday, upper 90s to lower 100s as I think a northerly wind's going to sneak in uh, to the region. So that'll help temperatures soar uh, for sure. Now out in the tropics, uh, we do have two areas of interest way out in the eastern Atlantic, so very far away. Uh, one coming off the African coast, 50% over the next seven days. This one now is actually a little bit uh, further to the east down here. That pretty much has a 100% chance to develop uh, over the next seven days as it's going to be on a westward track. All likelihood it's going to be the next tropical storm of the season. Uh, but probably the next hurricane as well. So let's time it out here with the European model. Uh, and again, we're going to track it here through the week ahead into the weekend. Hopefully it just misses the Caribbean islands as we head into the weekend. But notice, notice how the ISO bars are going to be uh, compacting here. So likely a hurricane. Uh, then thereafter, we get into the 7, 10, 14 day range. So more uncertainty than not. But models still hinting that it's going to try to recurve to the north down the line. Hopefully that's the case and it stays uh, out in the open waters of the Atlantic, but still I think the eastern U.S. will have to keep an eye on it uh, at least over the next several days to be safe, but not a threat to the Gulf nor us here in Acadia. Temperatures mid to upper 70s tonight. We're going to push low to mid 90s tomorrow afternoon under a mixture of sunshine and clouds with a few of those scattered showers and storms. 77 your projected low tonight. Any leftover showers will continue to diminish over the next couple of hours. 93 your projected high tomorrow and again about a 30 to 40 percent.
percent chance for those scattered primarily afternoon showers and storms. Rain chances trending lower 20% Wednesday through Friday as the heat makes a return upper 90s to lower 100s at least across portions of Acadiana. Next best rain chance looks to arrive on Saturday as an upper level disturbance tries to push on through. So uh, we'll see how that longer range pattern continues to evolve uh, for the week ahead. Overnight lows mid to upper 70s initially, but toward the back half of the weekend and into early next week could see some upper 60s and lower 70s. Darcy. Good news. Thank yes. You, Bradley.